Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, if you are using the Voice Meter app, Microsoft has now lifted the block for the uh, um, Windows 11 24H2, but you have to update the app itself. So you need to go get the latest update because it has a new driver. So it's really the Voice Meter app driver that needs to be up to date for 24H2 to appear on your machine. If you don't see it, if you want it and you don't see it, um, restart your PC and look for a Windows update again. Talking about that, I've had several comments, including an email about um, viewers to the channel that have suddenly seen 24H2 appear in their Windows updates uh, in the last couple of days. So it seems that maybe Microsoft is opening a little more the, um, the gate to get 24H2. So if you don't see it or if you haven't seen it before uh, and you want to get it, you might want to go and check for Windows updates. Um, one question that comes also is the fact that, you know, should I go to 24H2 with all the problems that I see? If you see 24H2 and Windows Update, it's because your machine is deemed to be safe for the upload. All of the issues or the majority of the issues, um, there's a block on them. So the blockers prevent anyone from actually seeing the update. So it seems a little more people are seeing 24H2 now. And um, one of the uh, problems that made uh, the, uh, the Windows crash uh, with the voice meter app is fixed. So we'll keep you up to date with all of this and see how, what it happens and how um, when will Microsoft eventually um, do general availability, which means that 24H2 at some point will be open to everyone or almost everyone. And once again, if you don't see it, don't worry. It's fine. And uh, you'll get it when you have to get it. Some people, it takes months before they see a new Windows version appear on their machines, and um, it's uh, don't don't force it if you don't see it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.